So too far to walk, we decided to Uber to uh, Glasgow Cathedral. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> you can go from, see from the inside the streets, we probably don't know. Right, yeah. like shortcuts. Short So we have arrived at Glasgow Cathedral. It's a little bit bright, I'm squinting again. So we arrived here and nice old building behind, but behind me is the cathedral. So I'm gonna head inside there. So here's the grand entrance on the stonework. To the cathedral. And then we're we'll head inside. Wow, these doors. They're like 10 inches thick. Beautiful stained glass windows. Very gothic, isn't it? Very gothic. Very gothic. Very high ceilings. Lots of plaques for different noble people. Heading up into the inner church sanctuary, I guess. This is where the sermons and the church services happen. Lots of stained glass, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look down here. See what we can discover. Oh, wow. oh. A chamber. Can you hear the echo? It's very echoey. Look how old those flags are. They're falling to pieces this old. Okay, I'm gonna head down these stairs now, see what's down here. As to the lower church.
Hey, Randy. Hi. So here's the next uh, stop of the itinerary, the ice cream stand. No, not really. We are at the uh, Riverside Museum in Glasgow. I think it's a transport museum. It used to be called the Glasgow Transport Museum. Now it's a Riverside Museum, so check it out. It's free entry, as are most every museum in the UK. So that's good. So as soon as you walk through the door, there's an old uh, tram, street tram. Glasgow Street Tram. Carriages. Or merry-go-round horses. And a steam engine. That thing's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. There's a horse-drawn tram. Wooden-bodied horse-drawn tram. Isn't that not cool? That's beautiful. So this is inside the street tram. You don't have to come up on board. That is the first class half. And then you come across here. And if you didn't have so much money in the day, you would go in the second class. So there's no padding on those seats. That was very cool in there. Everything's wood carved. How cool, eh? Classic cars in here as well. This is a Bentley, 3.5 litre Bentley from 1934. Beautiful vehicle. And obviously that one's older. That was older than 34. 1902. Old locomotive. A Strathclyde police car. Some choppers and a hippie van. There's another range of classic cars. Heading up the ramp. There's a 1969 Ford Capri. I actually owned that exact model car, but mine was bright yellow. But mine was a 69, the same as that. It's a very cool museum in here. Look at these vehicles. How old are they? If I read the sign, I would know. 1901. It's an Arroy Johnston dog cart. 1901. Wow, eh? And this one is a Albion A3, 12 horsepower tonneau. 1904. 12 horsepower. How fast would that have gone? Or not? Now there's a cool vehicle. That's a 1959 Mini Cooper. That is a nice vehicle. One of the originals. And over here is, it's like an old RV. Rhonda's uh, looking at the RV. I'm sure that's not the model she wants me to buy. But see what she's doing. Yeah, it's an old RV. Oh, that's kind of cool. It even had a slide out on it. And here's an old uh, Glasgow Street in the museum. Got the tram lines in the ground and the sidewalk. There's an ice cream and coffee shop. 
should be a pub somewhere along here. Come on, Mom. Come on, Daddy. This old subway car. Come on, Daddy. Selection of motorcycles stacked high up. There's a Harley Davidson top right. Look what I found! And here's the next stop on our tour, the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Let's head inside. This is the interior as you walk in the museum. It's so big I can't even get it on the screen to show. Look at the huge high ceiling and the organ over there so way up massive we're gonna head this way into the museum so the museum is a real mixture of everything like on the ceiling there's a full-size spitfire from world war ii and then down below it and in this main room is an elephant, a giraffe, and a Rhonda, and look at this. There's a totem pole, and we just read the label, and it's from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. So, a little piece of our home place there, that's good. Okay, so we decided it's such a nice day, we're going to walk back towards the city centre. Because it's a nice day, there's all kinds of Rondo's hands in, in the way, which is Sorry. good sightseeing. <laughs> Churches, old buildings, and it's just wonderful weather. I can't believe how it's turned out. Look at the sky. It's almost 20 degrees right now. Centigrade, that is. Anyway, this is uh, the main road leading from that museum area all the way back into the city centre. It's about a 25 minute, 30 minute walk, but it's nice and we'll see what we can find along the way. There's lots of little pubs and bars and places to check out. So that's what we're going to be doing. So to finish off the day, it's 10 o'clock at night, we've lasted, we're not too jet lagged. But this is the last place, we've had supper, beautiful Indian restaurant, and we've come to Witherspoons in Glasgow. It's, our hotel is like one minute that way. Uh, so we're just having one more drink and then we're going to bed.